Hi, everybody. I'm going to read a little bit of a longer story, but it's a rhyming story and it's got great facts. And it's called My Oh My, A Butterfly. And it's all about butterflies. And it's written by Tish Rape. And it's also um, a cat in the hat story. I'm the cat in the hat, and if you look in the sky, you might see a butterfly fluttering by. They are colorful insects whose lives you will see are very exciting. Come on, follow me. Right here in your yard, if you look, you might spot a butterfly egg. It's a little round dot. It sticks to a leaf. Rain won't wash it away. Right here on this leaf is where it wants to stay. You may think in these eggs there are small butterflies, but wait till they hatch and you'll get a surprise. Caterpillars hatch out of a butterfly's eggs. They look like small worms and may have 16 legs. They start chewing and growing and growing and chewing, and that's about all that they spend their time doing. They eat first their eggshells, then, it, then it's leaves that they need. They eat all the time, and they grow with great speed. If we grew as fast as they do, this was funny to us. In two weeks, we would each would be as big as a bus. This caterpillar has grown too big for its skin. It needs bigger skin than the skin it's been in. So it takes a deep breath, then it wobbles and wiggles. Its skin starts to split as it joggles and jiggles. The old skin falls off, and right there underneath is a new bigger skin that's been hiding beneath. It eats the old skin. Oh, yum, how delicious. Protein in the skin makes it very nutritious. See this caterpillar? He looks really cute, dressed up in his new black and orange striped suit. After the fourth time it sheds all its skin, the next stage of a butterfly's life will begin. It hangs upside down like a small letter J, and for a few hours, it hangs there that way. Then it changes again. The next stage is this. A shell forms around it called a chrysalis. Inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar keeps changing. All of its body parts are rearranging. For almost 10 days, it can't move and can't eat. Then one day, the butterfly's change is complete. A tiny black leg begins to poke through. Within seconds, another leg pops into view. She bursts into the air, a bright new butterfly. Her wings are so soft that at first she can't fly. She must wait till they harden. Till then she must stay. If an enemy comes, she cannot fly away. Her antennas start working to sense what's around her, the motions she smells, and the sights that surround her. In hours, her new wings get harder, and so she is ready to fly. She is ready to go. See these two caterpillars? They're different, and here's why. One will soon be a moth, and one will be a bright butterfly. One makes a chrysalis, and now we know inside it's a butterfly starting to grow. One spins a cocoon like a blanket to hide it, and then a new moth begins growing inside of it. Spiders, frogs, beetles, birds, lizards, and mice think bright, beautiful Bright butterflies for a snack are quite nice. Every butterfly knows birds are trying to catch it. Its wobbly flight makes it harder to snatch it. This butterfly colors warn foes it might meet. I am poison. I'll hurt you. I'm not good to eat. Some cover their bright wings with dark wings, you see. This helps them to blend with the leaves on a tree. Butterflies are so light. This will show you how many you will need just to equal the weight of one penny. They say they see thousands of pictures if one looked at me. Here is a drawing of what it would see. With this tube, the proboscis, a butterfly draws nectar from flowers like we drink from straws. We have a new hobby. We just started trying. It's fun and it's free and it's called butterflying. We look to find butterflies. They're everywhere in our yard, near a stream, on the ground, in the air. We write down the day and the time that we saw them. We write down the place, then take crayons and draw them. When you find butterflies, there are ways you can see by the size and shape and color what kind they might be. Butterflies get their names from all different things. Swallowtail butterflies have long tails on their wings. Here is a lace wing. Its wings look like lace. This owl butterfly looks like a baby owl's face. Which one is the smallest? It's the pygmy blue. A bird wing is largest. It's beautiful, too. These are the monarchs. Just watch them in flight. They have orange and black wings with small dots of white. They can't live in cold weather, so somehow they know they must fly where it's warmer, like to Mexico. 
They fly hundreds of miles. They fly hours and hours. They stop just to rest and sip nectar from flowers. Monarchs hide in a storm when thunder is crashing. They know they're in danger when lightning is flashing. How do these butterflies know where they're going? Scientists really have no way of knowing. Butterflies can be tagged to show where they're from. This way we can learn how far they have come. This one is from Maine, and I think this is cool. It was tagged by the kids in an elementary school. Monarchs fly for weeks till they finally see in the Mexican forest and oyamel tree. They fly to the tree and then just before dark they land and they lock their small legs in the in the bark. Without the sun's warmth they are too cold for flight so they huddle together to wait out the night. Blow gently onto a cold butterfly and you'll help it warm up so it's able to fly. In the spring when it's warm, monarchs lift off from the trees, they flutter and swoop and they dance in the breeze. Now that it's warmer, these butterflies know they must mate and lay eggs so new babies can grow. Males look for females to mate with. It's true that have colors and markings that look like theirs do. Once a female has mated, it's hard to go on. She will not live much longer. Her time's almost gone. She is carrying eggs. They are heavy. That's why she cannot get back home. It is too far to fly. So she searches for leaves and lays eggs one by one. She lays hundreds of eggs and won't stop till she's done. Butterflies are surprising and beautiful things as they soar through the air on their bright colored wings. They're like jewels in the sun. They live just a short while. But whenever you see one, you can't help but smile. For you know on a leaf, if you look, you may find an egg that a butterfly just left behind. And in this egg, small as the head of a pin, a new butterfly life is about to begin.